Uh, we're gonna go ahead and safety wire the oil pump nut. Like I mentioned, I had drilled a hole on a factory oil pump nut. Now you could buy these pre-drilled, but it's kind of a rip off because as long as you have decent drill bits, you can easily uh, make your own drilled oil pump nut. So we're starting with our safety wire. We're gonna run it through the hole that we drilled in the nut. And you know, we wanna get this relatively equal length. Now we're gonna be safety wiring it to this portion of the sprocket. So with that said, we're gonna have a slightly longer lead on this end of the wire. Since this end of the wire needs to come this way. Now the safety wire pliers I have will wind the safety wire clockwise. So I'm gonna kinda get a twist going down here just so that it's tight. And the reason why we're twisting in this direction or using the safety wire in this direction is the nut gets torqued the left hand thread so you want to put tension on the direction in which the fastener tightens and right here is where I want the twist to end so I'm going to bring in my safety wire pliers and you'll notice a slight curve in the nose there or the or the teeth that's so that you can get the um, the pliers in an area where there's an obstruction. I'm going to clamp down and we're going to go ahead and start our twist All right, pretty good. I like the way that looks. Nice and uniform twist. You want about seven to eight twist per inch. That's kind of the, the standard. All right, so in terms of our next move, so you can see how the twist ends here. I'm gonna take this part of the wire and run it down behind the sprocket in the opening. And the reason for that is it's already twisted in that direction and so when we bring it, bring the wires through and start twisting on this end, um, we're not going to have to worry about this twist unraveling there. And again, we're going to twist clockwise. So we want to set up the wire so that it'll start twisting clockwise. Take our safety wire pliers, clamp on again, and we're going to go ahead and twist it again. We do want it slightly tighter on this end than we on the one on that end, only because um, we're going to be cutting the wire here, and we want some of the strength of the wire to basically hold it twisted together. So it's nice and tight. We'll go ahead and cut it. And now uh, this is a sharp end. We obviously don't want it sticking out, so I'm going to go ahead and bend it under, like so. I'm going to go ahead and just twist that under and crimp it together so that you know we don't cut ourselves in the future if we ever have to take this apart and then this pigtail end we can just kinda work under and up against the nut alright and there we have it we have a safety wired oil pump nut and we don't have to worry about this nut potentially backing off in the future between the red loctite and the safety wire uh, there shouldn't be a problem, but that's how you safety wire an oil pump nut on any of these straight six engines for BMW. Pretty easy. And of course you could do the twist without the tool, but uh, the tool definitely helps um, not only twist the wire tight, but uniformly. And that's what you want.